Election results are still coming in, but let's do a little analysis with uh, Mike Gooding and our political analyst, Quentin Kidd. I'm Janet Roach on what we know so far. First, an early call tonight. Tim Kaine returns to the Senate, beating Republican Corey Stewart with 55 percent of the vote. Not a surprise here, Quentin. Not a surprise. I mean, the, I don't know that there was ever a poll out there that showed Corey Stewart, even within 10 points of Tim Kaine, this looked to be a, a runaway from, from early on. And I would make note of this. About a year ago um, tonight, um, Ed Gillespie lost to Ralph Northam in the governor's race. And Corey Stewart, who had run against Ed Gillespie, said, Ed, Ed Gillespie lost because he didn't run Trump-like enough. Well, Corey Stewart had the last year to demonstrate that, and it looks like his assessment was not right. Didn't Virginia work. voters mm -hmm. don't like Trump-like candidates. Mm -hmm. And Corey Stewart may have misunderestimated Tim Kaine. I mean, the fact is that he has run for city council, mayor, governor, lieutenant governor, senate twice, and he even won in Virginia when he ran for vice president two years ago, beating Mike Pence by five percentage points. So he's like seven for seven. And there, there, I don't think we ever had a doubt that Kane yeah, was going to win. Tim Kane's in a really good place in the hearts of Virginia voters. It's clear from tonight's results. Mm -hmm. Actually getting 56% of the vote. Okay, now to a possible surprise for some. The second congressional district race. Everybody's talking about this. Elaine Luria defeating Republican incumbent Scott Taylor. He's not conceding. Well, it's been called. He's not conceding because there are still absentee ballots to, to be counted, but I have a hard time seeing this election result being overturned unless there were just mistaken uh, counts somewhere, but it doesn't appear like any of that has gone on right now. Elaine Luria won this fair and square, it looks like. Yeah, and she did not mention Trump in her campaign, and Scott Taylor didn't men mention Trump either. No, but the thing I'm going to remember is those 17,000 times that those commercials ran mm -hmm. in Hampton Roads over the last two months, and in the end, did they make a bit of difference, or did people's eyes just glaze over and they voted the way yeah. they're going to vote anyway? Yeah, I think she made Scott Taylor pay for that ballot uh, a ballot scandal in the last two weeks, and I think that's what that's what. Uh, turn the election in her direction, um, mm -hmm. ultimately in her uh, her victory. And the amazing thing here is the second district has been held for 16 of the last 18 years by a Republican, and now we're going to have a Democrat, it yeah. appears. Yep. All right, we'll see what happens.